There are many characteristics that defines Houseroach1292 as the best player in the server. And one of them is how he goes above and beyond as a support player. Enemy guns you down right in the open? No problem. Houseroach will run through the fierce barrage to save you. Entire squad is running away in fear? Houseroach would inspire them to face the enemy head on. And I think if we want to be a good player like Houseroach, we have to ask ourselves in every situation, what would Houseroach do? Like in here, I encountered this man, crying for the medic, standing here with 1 HP and being shot at. And I knew exactly what Houseroach would do in this situation. Using my own body to shield him. I just saved this man's life. And now I'm not expecting him to thank me and everything. But then I get this message. There was an enemy behind you, you idiot. You blocked my ammunition like a pig. And you know, I just want to say that it's not easy trying to do what House Roach does. Welcome back to the another episode of House Roach Adventure. And in this episode, I'd really like to dig deeper on what it takes to be House Roach. So hopefully my aspiring viewers don't get called an idiot pig when they attempt to do what House Roach does. Anyway, as I am gunning for House Roach's prowler, first thing I notice is that House Roach is always on guard. Anti-tank mines? It is useless before Hasroach's insane load awareness. TKOD's Nat randomly dead on the road? He cannot even think of passing by. So we in fact momentarily stop by to tickle these Nats. And you know, it all just shows you nothing can get past Hasroach's insane map awareness. Unless it's a completely random new player on a spear turret. How did we die to a spear turret? Anyway, on top of Houseroach's insane map awareness, he also has an iron resolve. As you can see, instead of circumventing like a regular player, he decides to drive through the terrain and get his harasser stuck in between rocks. But he never gives up. And just when you think it's a lost cause, he thinks outside of the box and uses tank mines to unstack the harasser. It all could have been avoided if he just didn't randomly drive into the obstacles, but it just shows you the house roach's unwavering determination. And now we're engaging on this another harasser, and I'm thinking that we should be able to win this since they're using the anti-air weapon and we have the basilisk. And how do we lose to AA Harasser? Hasroch just goes, they are clearly hacking. And you know, I'd like to believe that given that we lost to an AA Harasser. So we just spawn a new Harasser. And then we encounter the exact same Harasser who beat us last time. This time with a better weapon. And I'm thinking, what are we going to do? According to you, they were clearly hacking. But then, Houseroach jumps out of the Biracle and heroically sacrifices himself to destroy the opponent. And it's just there to show you, you know, Houseroach would never die to the same opponent again. So we come back to the another day of recording 
and this time Hansworth is piloting a Liberator. But he randomly fat fingers and ejects himself. Except the Liberator somehow takes no damage and is still standing. And I can only conclude that it's because House Roach is just made different. But of course, you know, as House Roach comes back in with a beacon, it just spontaneously combats and explodes. Because the game is lame in this way. Anyway, now we're back at it again on Harasser, and this was when we coincidentally ran into Tikildi's nuts again, trying to squeeze himself up inside the base. He's getting attacked by the enemy lightning, but we work together and destroy the opponent. And we could have not done it without you, Tico. And now moving on to the another fight, there is this big vehicle stalemate going on, so we try to set up Sandor's. But then the incident happened. I accidentally killed Tico. I am a monster. <laughs>